Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, sorry, I am not able to figure out who, whether people have joined or not. But uh, yeah, so I think let's get started. Apologies. I uh, So let me share my screen. All right, so um, I hope you all are able to see my screen now. Okay, so yeah, I'm Hitarshi Butch. I'm a chief architect with Wipro. I lead the blockchain center of excellence, and uh, I've been working as uh, in this space uh, capacity for last four and a half years now. So today we are going to talk about oceans pl plastic and uh, collection and recycling solution, right? So let's dive right into it. So the problem is that you know there is a huge amount of plastic that is you know uh, goes into our oceans, right? And and uh, the numbers, it, as you can see, are so huge. And uh, and there are certain uh, you know that the ecosystem that is required to you know collect the plastic and recycle it is not there, you know, uh, as per the uh, as per the need, right? For you know, so uh, communities and individuals they would want to participate in it but again you know uh, beyond the social cause what what else is there for them for to, to them for them to go into the ocean or or the beach and, and collect the plastic right uh, corporations uh, you know also they also want to abide by the law of the land and not get entangled into any uh, jurisdictional issues right like child labor etc uh, when uh, so so they are also not fully onboarded so so the need is to first you know establish an ecosystem and and uh, you know which is inclusive and it it also incentivizes the uh, various players right various actors in in, in uh, who will participate in, in this recycling process right and and to further you know highlight this problem you know as to why plastics uh, pollution is is a big issue you know, uh, so as per UNESCO, if nothing is done, then, you know, our marine life is uh, going to be extinct, right? So, uh, so that is, that should tell you the gravity of the problem. And, you know, uh, as you can see, there are gyres ac all across the world, right, which are so huge. And, and uh, so there has to be a solution, you know, which is community driven, as well as supported by the local uh, authorities and governments, right? So that this sustainability initiative can be supported, right? So, so now I'm going to talk about you know how this entire thing will uh, work, right? So, uh, so, so what we are going to do is you know establish a flow, right? Where the collection of the plastics, right, uh, from the ocean as well as the beaches or nearby areas, is is done you know by individuals families ngos and and uh, they are able to aggregate it uh, uh, they are able to collect it and deposit it somewhere right to to the aggregators uh, and and these aggregators could be mobile units right and then uh, the aggregators themselves are responsible for collecting plastic or or uh, you know accepting plastic deposits from various sources you know uh, remove any debris or sand etc and and then uh, supply it to the uh, recyclers, right? So, uh, and and the recyclers would then segregate the plastic based on its quality, based on its type, and then recycle it, and then further in the downstream, you know, provide it to uh, you know uh, companies who would want to use the recyclable, uh, you know, recycled plastic to create their own products, right? And then uh, we we would have a auditor or a regulatory oversight to to basically see whether the the rules uh, you know or, or the law of the land is being followed you know uh, the credential of each of the parties verified right and and there are no unfair means being used to collect the plastic right and and there is uh, you know the incentivization and all is also happening in a fair manner right so so that's the uh, process flow right which uh, is simple enough to understand and now I'm going to talk about the architect, uh, you know, the certain aspects that are embedded into this solution, you know, and, and a very important part of this solution is the the incentivization, right? Because what is in it for each party to to participate in, in, in this community initiative, right? So 
so the incentive and token calculation logic basically is embedded into smart contracts right which take into consideration you know what is the total collection you know plastics deposited what is the quality of the plastic right and and based on that there is also a credit score that is being or a reputation of each actor that is maintained right so so all those factors are taken into consideration uh, whenever a plastic deposit is made or when that plastic is moved across the value chain right so so as and when each and every actor completes their uh, you know the, their task and the plastic is accepted by the by the next participant that's when we you know update their tokens we update their credit score also right as we'll see in the demo now uh, coming to the architecture of it uh, so here we have leveraged a hybrid model where we are using the hyperledger fabric as the private consortium chain right it's a private blockchain network which is integrating with the hedera network which is a public blockchain platform right so uh, what happens is that the private uh, network blockchain network is comprising of the different peers right hyperledger fabric peers uh, that represent the different parties right now uh, since uh, this is a you know solution integrated with the public blockchain so it's not really required that each and every in, you know role rec uh, is represented as a node there could be a shared node concept also but a minimum viable you know uh, network has to be running for all the participants to be able to interact through their distributed apps right so as and when each of the you know uh, play, uh, participants like the collector or the aggregator or the recycler you know submit the transactions you know which would be about plastic deposit or accepting that plastic that transaction goes into the hyperledger fabric network and the orderer node you know leverages the hedera consensus service for fair ordering and uh, arriving at a consensus right so here you can say that the orderer node has outsourced the consensus process to a public blockchain right so which adds to the overall credibility of of the solution right and, and so uh, if you look under the hood right as to how this whole thing works is that the client application which is being used by the collector or the aggregator or the recycler will submit a transaction to the respective peers right and uh, then there is an you know in hyperledger fabric there is an endorsement process for that transaction proposal right uh, and and once the endorsements are obtained uh it the transaction is reaches the fabric order right so now the fabric order basically will submit the transaction to the mainnet node of hedera right and wipro is one of the governing council members and we also host a validator node so the the each of the validator nodes in hedera network are you know hosted by you know neutral well well known organizations so so the ordering service of of fabric will submit the transaction to the mainnet node right and header is a con concept of a mirror node because the mainnet node does not retain the entire transaction it only retains the hash of the transaction so the once the transaction is finalized uh, after consensus is achieved on the mainnet the copy of the transaction is you know relate to the mirror node right so the mirror node is a read only node uh, to which any application can subscribe to on a particular topic right so for this particular app application the uh, a topic id is created on 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 the mirror node and the fabric orderer is then able to listen to that topic id to get a confirmation that you know a particular transaction has been finalized on the hedera network right and it relies on that confirmation to uh, you know come create a block you know within the fabric network and propagate it to all the peers right so so under the hood this is how that this hybrid arrangement works where the transaction initially is received by the private network and then it leverages the ordering and the consensus mechanism of the public network right so what it effectively does is for each transaction there is a proof on the public network that that transaction it has occurred it is a valid transaction and it it is a very verifiable proof right so 
now uh in terms of why hybrid blockchain right this could have been built on any uh, permission blockchain or directly on a public blockchain as well right so there are certain advantages you know which both public and private bring into uh, blockchains bring it on onto the table right one is uh, the decentralized ordering mechanism right that provides more credibility and transparent transparency to the solution right uh, in terms of privacy and smart contracts you know hyperledger fabric provides that capability for you know not only private transactions but also the the chain code capability helps us in uh, you know embedding the tokenization and reward points logic right so that can be customized and be you know incorporated in, for each participant the proof of plastics collection right because uh, for example if somebody wants to claim a tax rebate or they want to you know uh, you know uh, gain any other uh, you know benefits from from the government so this is something uh, where the proof will always be available on the public blockchain right for for them to present and in the future you know if there, let's say there are many uh, such plastic recycling chains that are operating right whether they are on blockchain or not but they can all integrate with header and network and the and and have their own topic ids to which they can interact with or listen to you know uh, and and thus you know uh, this entire ecosystem can be you know integrated right through a common public blockchain network right so that is what i wanted to cover in terms of the use case and the architecture i'm i'm now going to switch to the demo part i'll just check whether uh, okay great so uh, i I'll, i'll just switch to the demo now All right uh, just give me a second right so now as you can see here you know bob is a collector of plastic you know who collects the uh, or picks the plastic from from the uh, the beaches uh, right and and as you can see on the dashboard they have certain tokens already earned bob is already earned certain token and there is a credit score based on how much plastic they have deposited till date and you know what is the uh, how good that plastic was right so there is a as, as i shown earlier there is some calculation mechanism which we have embedded in smart contracts right now bob uh, you know wants to create a deposit plastic deposit transaction right so they what they will do is what he'll do is basically classify the material of the plastic right also uh, you know uh, he, what he'll uh, do is uh, specify what is the weight and where from which location the plastic was uh, collected and finally you know submitted to a particular aggregator right so here in this system we have cd plastics as one of the uh, aggregator so as you can see the the plastic deposit transaction has been submitted right uh, and this is something which Uh, gets recorded on the hyperledger fabric blockchain but that gets done after the consensus is achieved on the hedera network right so as you can see here the there is a unique deposit id for the transaction right then there is a uh, you know who was it deposited to what was the weight and then there is a transaction hash right from the fabric network which represents the fact that uh this is uh, you know uh, recorded on block, on 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 the private network right and that the private network uh, is uh, consensus is based on the public one so here the transaction id is there and we have kind of decoded the message to show that this, that it is this is the actual deposit transaction that bob did right so and with the block number and this is something which we can also view on the hyperledger explorer right so this screen here as you can see there are you know uh, the latest block right which is the block number 40 is something which represents that plastic deposit transaction uh, submitted by bob right and for this transaction there is a corresponding transaction on hedera network so this dragon glass is an explorer uh, which listens to a particular topic on the mirror node right so that mirror node will have you know a series of transactions right which are resulting from the fact that uh, you know hyperledger 
fabric ordering service had submitted the transaction on the main main net header main net right so so that that proof is also something which is uh, automatically available on on the mirror node right so this is a submit message with a you know consensus time etc right so once this is done the next step in the process is that you know the aggregator will uh, you know get a notification right that certain plastics have been so they also have a token balance and you know the plastics collected they receive a not notification saying that you know bob has submitted this, this much amount of plastic right which is of type pvc etc and there is a you know they also get to uh, verify that okay this is a valid transaction on blockchain right and they what they can do is they can accept this particular uh, you know deposit right so they can rate it whether it is you know what quality it is whether it is high low uh, etc right and based on that the tokens also get calculated right uh, and the reward points for that uh, for bob so once that is done again this is uh, submitted onto blockchain and 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 then as you can see that you know the the, the total transactions uh, you know for uh, you know for for cd plastics are available here now the next step for uh, you know uh, cd plastics aggregator is to you know further ship it ship this plastic you know after they have cleaned it up etc to to uh, an aggregator right so here we have one aggregator in the system which is geoplastics right and as you can see uh, you know, uh, you know see the, the all the details are available you know for that particular transaction on on the hyperledger explorer and what uh, cd plastics the aggregator can do is submit this to geopolymers right so geopolymers is a recycler who will receive this entire plastic right so as soon as uh, you know cd plastics submits this to uh, geopolymers again uh, you know the transaction is committed on onto blockchain right and and you can see this this is something which is now pending with geopolymers right so uh, and there is a unique transaction id and block representing that particular transaction okay so now the last step of the process is that the you know geopolymers basically uh, would access their dashboard right and and they would see that uh, you know there are certain transactions that are pending for them so some there is a transaction from cd plastics right for, uh, with which has 650 kg of plastic in it right and that is something which they will verify and and uh, certify that okay this is of of uh, of uh, you know good quality and they have accepted it for recycling right so as soon as they accept it for recycling what happens is uh, that the tokens for uh, you know cd plastics uh, get allo allocated right and similarly since uh, the recycler has also accepted this uh, you know uh, plastic for recycling they also get in incentivized right so 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 the on the dashboard you, uh, you know their uh, you know uh, tokens get updated uh, so and as you can see there is one more transaction added uh, to their uh, to to their dashboard right now the final view is uh, going to be for a uh, you know so as you can see there is a you know block number unique block number and transaction hash uh, so once this is done, uh, you know now the regulator can have a view of the entire chain, right? Uh, of, of of the entire sequence of events. So here, as you can see, there are many such transactions that have, that have occurred, and uh, for the for the transactions that we just saw, right? So here, as you can see, Bob, you know, submitted 650 kg uh, of plastic and earned 975 tokens. Similarly, you know, uh, CD Plastics also served you know, on certain tokens, right? So likewise, there are many combinations, right, which can happen where here, you know, Alice is submitting certain plastic. There could be multiple uh, collectors, right? As you can see in this example, who are submitting, you know, their own set of plastic. All of that is aggregated, summed up, and, and then it is uh, something which is handled by an ag aggregator, right? Uh, uh, and, and they all get incentivized. Right, so that's how uh, the entire solution works. One more feature that we are uh, will be add, adding in the you know future is uh, to 
be able to uh, you know uh, to to add verifiable credentials right and decentralized identity to this entire solution so that the identity of the picker right or the reputation is something which is represented through uh, you know th their credentials right which is provided by a valid authority so so the question of whether they have used the lawful means or whether they have employed chi child labor or not so all those aspects will also get covered right so we have a uh, you know hyperledger nd based uh, solution which which can be integrated with with this current solution so that's what i wanted to cover right now and if there are any questions i'll be happy to take Okay, I'm, I think, could you go, uh, okay, could, uh, so Marcus has a question that could you go a bit deeper into the reward system? Are the tokens on HLF? Yes, uh, the, the tokens are currently, you know, on HLF and the way they are calculated is uh, that, uh, you know, uh, I, I'll just show my, I'll again share my screen. Right. So basically, there are four factors that we consider, right, uh, based on the the, the weight uh, of of the of the plastic and the quality, etc. We calculate the token, and that these tokens come from a pool which uh, would be, you know, uh, initialized by by the sponsor of the network, right. So obviously, since this is a sustainability initiative, so we would need a sponsor for. For the network, who would you know have a pool of tokens from where, you know these tokens, you know whatever they earn is allocated to them, and later on they can, you know you know encash it or or get some benefits, you know or services out of those tokens, right? So so that's how they would be able to leverage. But we are using a chain code to to you know basically cal uh, incorporate this calculation, and this uh, this is something which will be available. As part of the wallet of of each of the participant, right? And and I had one more slide which I didn't keep. Huh. So so basically, for each role, you know, we have certain payout formula, right? Uh, so for example, for the picker or the collector, they will, you know, um, they so, so so the different factors that you saw, right? That those are A, B, and C, right? Like the weight of the plastic, the quality of the plastic, etc. So all of that. You know, get uh, is used for the calculation, right? And that also impacts their uh, credit score, right? Because ultimately, uh, you know, if somebody is you know depositing good quality of plastic, right, and regularly depositing it, it then uh, their credit score also increases, right? Uh, so, so th that you know adds up to their overall reputation, right? So, if some picker or collector walks into an aggregator, so by looking at their credit score. You know the aggregator would be more sure of you know uh, the quality or, or or the kind of plastic they are receiving right so they are kind of inter interrelated so uh, but yeah so token is tokens are something which are calculated and maintained on fabric and uh, yeah the payout you know how it would be honored is something which would be an extension to of this solution Sure. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I I hope I've answered the hybrid blockchain because that is something which, you know, I get asked often uh, saying that why uh, do we need a hybrid solution, right, for this uh, hybrid blockchain solution? So uh, the fact of the matter is that initially when we developed this solution, right, it was our you know, and uh, and hackathon entry to Hedera. Right where where there was a hackathon for you know leveraging Hedera consensus service, right? So we initially built it for Hedera uh, to to leverage Hedera blockchain, right? And and then uh, you know then we thought that you know there are certain you know uh, 
aspects of privacy right and uh, you know cal token calculation logic which otherwise we would have to you know handle at the application layer right so how can we uh, make that also be part of blockchain and that's where we thought of using hyperledger fabric right which which has the capability to you know onboard uh, you know or or verify identities through their membership services provider right so so organizations would uh, you know would be more comfortable with those security features secondly the privacy is also something which can be preserved and and uh, you know chain code you can pretty much write any kind of logic you know uh, to have this sort of uh, you know token or incentive calculation right and and uh, and with at the same time uh, you know have the proof of the transaction on on the public blockchain so which which uh, you know is globally available and and can be verified by anybody okay so if there are no more questions i i guess i we can conclude. I think I will. We have reached the end of time, uh, or maybe we've completed before time. So, all right. Uh, thank you all. I I can't for some reason I can't see who all are attending. So, uh, so thank you all for your time and patience.